Finally this evening, at home, the armored SUV. It should probably come as no surprise, given the country's heightened interest in security, that someone, if not a lot of people, think they need one. Here's ABC's Brian Rooney. The selling point on these is that you will be riding in one of the most popular cars on the road, so you'll blend in with all the soccer moms. And did we mention the optional tear gas, run flat tires, and armor plate? This is a low caliber, these are high caliber ceramic composites that they again stop bullets very well. Since September 11th, there's been a run on orders for armored SUVs to transport politicians, executives, and rich people who'd like to think they are important enough to be a target. Bullets have... Vinnie Bergman is a transplanted New Yorker who converts cars in Corona, California. It's went up like three or four vehicles a month to like three vehicles a month. You know, it's, it's, everybody wants one out. They strip the inside down to metal, then line the interior with bullet and bomb-resistant Kevlar. The windshield can be up to 32 millimeters thick. Hey, put it this way. If you don't do it right, you don't get repeat customers. We do it right. In Oxnard, California, Howard Becker was making low-profile limousines for the entertainment elite. Then they started asking for armor. This is an aircraft steel called Chromali. And that's like a, a high-power rifle bullet. Yes, sir. We beef up the suspension, the braking system, and some of the horsepower requirements uh, so that the vehicle is still agile and able to perform well. It becomes a bomb and bulletproof office and entertainment center. Of course, if you need to speak to the driver, it's going to interrupt the movie. <coughs> the cost can run up to a quarter of a million dollars, and several thousand pounds of armor drops fuel efficiency to less than 10 miles a gallon. The biggest threat to these vehicles is a hike in the price of gas. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Los Angeles.